How's it going, everybody? Weaselman Gaming here, and today I'll be showing you another script video. So, basically, my last video got me not popular, but got me a lot of attention. Okay, I reached nearly a hundred subscribers, and that video got nearly a hundred views for the Sasha scripts, and you all seem to love it. And that has also come to my attention that I did not talk loud enough and you had to turn your computer or headset or whatever device you were on to max volume to be able to slightly hear me. Hopefully you guys can hear me to follow the instructions. Anyway, so since we got so much support from the Sasha scripts, I'll be introducing Lenny scripts. So, Lenny scripts, if you thought Sasha scripts was easy, man, this is going to be ten times easier than that to install. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to hit escape, and you're going to open your workshop. I don't know why, but I cannot open my workshop right now. It's being very stupid. So, anyway, once you're in your workshop, you're going to go to the search bar, and you're going to type Lenny's Scripts 2, and you should see that picture with the, uh, I forget what that guy's name is, just the old looking dude, and it should say Scripts 2 or Lenny Scripts 2. Then you're going to subscribe to that. And then you're going to have to probably restart your Gary's mod. I will do a different video on Dark Scripts. Anyway, um, I will do a different video, yeah, like I said, on Dark Scripts. Anyways, then, once you restarted your game, because the add-on has to, like, function, so you have to restart your game. So then once you get in the game, you find a server that allows Lua Scripts to be ran in the console. So, um, then once you're in, you're going to open it. And you're gonna paste this command, and you should see all of Lenny scripts initialized. Initialized. I can't talk today. Initialized. And just wait a minute, and something will pop up on your screen, and it should be like kind of like an introduction to Thingamajig to Lenny scripts. And you know, you just click it. Yeah, there it is. You just click X on this. And there's a lot of commands you could do th with this. So, um, for me personally. I like to use the aim snap. So let's see. You do Lenny underscore, and then you could you have to find it. aim snap one. There is a bind to this, but I don't have it binded I'm right now. Tell that on you. Anyway, so I'm telling Lenny that on underscore advanced crosshair Good. underscore money. That when I'm you just look at the people, admin. it shows you me. their money. So, look, this guy, he's moving. This dude has, I'm not even going to try to read that number. I can't math, I'm sorry. Anyway, yeah, so that's it. You guys just have to play around with the commands. That's really all you have to do. Just like Sasha scripts, how I acted really stupid and I was just kind of like, yeah, I don't really know. Lenny scripts, I'm even more confused with and I haven't even played with this. Much, because I use Sasha scripts all the time. And I might even redo the Sasha scripts video, just because it came out pretty bad. So yeah. There's a lot of things you can do with Lenny scripts. However, some of the things got patched um, when the new Gary's Mod update came out, like a couple weeks ago. Not all of the commands work, such as Lenny underscore keypad. That's supposed to show you the keypad code above the keypad, but that does not work. It got patched. And as you can see, my frames drop down crazy because the Lenny scripts are initialized and I'm recording at the same time. So that really brought it down. And there's X-Ray Mod. I really prefer Sasha scripts though, but I'm just making scripts because that's what got me a lot of attention. So you could see the people's layout. You, want to play this you might even be able again. to see their printers through the walls. I haven't really checked that. Even if you can't see their printers through the walls, you can just see the basic outline of their structure. And you can pretty much tell that there's probably a printer in there. So, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. And I will do another tutorial on dark scripts soon. Be sure to subscribe. It really helps me out. And... That's it. Be sure to show your friends, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.